Good evening EVOG boys and girls. I'm trying to learn about transformers and I've got a quick question for you. I'll try and keep it down to about 60 seconds. Right, I have this here, it's a custom built transformer. Three windings on it. It's got a primary, 100 turns. Uh, a secondary, also 100 turns. Um, this secondary is being fed through a diode to these output globes. Um, and it's not running on the square positive offset coming out of the transformer. It's running on the rebound effect. The, the negative offset. And this here is a second, is another secondary. This has got 300 turns on it. And what I'm doing is putting brief shorts um, using this transistor. So, on the scope, we have the input square wave, shown in green. Uh, the red trace, which we don't need, uh, that's timing the output power to the globes. Um, but at the moment I've got a, a jumper lead across that. So there's no switching at all, so the power comes straight out of the out of the first 100 turn secondary, straight through a diode and straight through the globes. Um, we can ignore that. Um, the blue trace there which we can barely see at all but basically it's got a tiny duty cycle on it um, I can adjust that here and I can also adjust the position of the blue wave um, in relation to the input wave and I'll show you why that's important right now so let's power it up and I'll show you what happens got about a whisker under 20 volts and about 400 milliamps 12 volt globes so as you can see the yellow trace that's on the output coil that's on the first output coil this one here that's running through the globes um, and as you can see that is before the diodes because we can see both the positive and the negative offset uh, which are inverted here so the globes are running off this negative offset now, what I'd like to show you is that this blue trace represents when I'm putting a short across the shorting coils. And if you watch the yellow trace whilst I slide the blue trace in, the amplitude of the yellow trace up the top will change up here. So I'm going to start shorting the coil. And by putting a short on it, the amplitude actually goes up. I'll start from the other side. On either side, the amplitude is the same. So, whilst it's not shorting, uh, it's not making any difference like that. Um, now, watch as I cunningly spend a week trying to understand this phenomenon. So, as I move it in like that, the, um, the, the the wave levels off and goes to a high offset up there. And that changes throughout the position of that short. And I'm going to do the same thing now and show you what happens on the globes. That's now not shorting also watch the power meter as well so that's not shorting that's triggering after the pulse that's triggering before the pulse and I'm going to slide it across the wave now so backwards and forwards across there as you can see there's a strange phenomena when the signal gets to about there, putting a dead short across that coil, what we have is increased brightness and decreased input power, and they coincide together. We've got a an exact moment where we can tune it for the the highest power, the highest light output equals the lowest power input. And that position occurs with the blue trace right there. 
Um, and if we were to increase the amplitude of that wave, it will decrease the effect. It's contingent on being a very short pulse. So we can open that up and bring it back some forwards and interesting looking waves and so forth. I wouldn't be too surprised by any of that. But what I am surprised by and have trouble explaining is that. If you can help me out, I'd be much obliged. Thanks, EEV Vlogs.